Whoa! Oh no! Anxiety! It's scary in here! Whoa. And adding all of your personal thoughts, I'm sorry, but Riley does not need these anymore. She needs to be a new Riley. It was really nice knowing you all, but Riley is now a teenager, and Riley needs to change. And I don't think you fit into her mind control center anymore. See you later. No! Someone! Help us! Get us out of here! Somebody! Oh. Oh. Okay. You guys, don't let her know it was me, okay? Come on, everyone. We're free. Huh? Who let you out of there? I'm going to have a better spot for you this time. This time, nobody's going to be able to help you. Getting my keys? I'm going to lock you up in the deepest, darkest place of Riley's mind. Sorry, but like I said, she's a teenager now. She needs to change. <laughs> and I will be hiding in the middle. So if anyone tries to save them and opens the orange door, it'll be me. And they won't know what to do. Wait a minute. I locked myself in too. That wasn't the best idea. I had 10 ideas and this one did not work. My anxiety is going through the roof. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nat and Nessie. This is Nat and oh no, anxiety locked up all of our emotion friends. But in the process, she decided to lock herself up too. But which door are the emotions behind? And which door is anxiety behind? Do you remember? We have six keys. A green key, red key, blue key, purple key, orange key, and yellow key. Each one of these keys opens a color door matching the color of the key. But also, we have to remember the colors of our emotions because that emotion will be behind that door. And we don't want to open up anxiety's door. Which color was anxiety again? Let's start from the bottom and see what we can remember. Whoa, I also have all these memories of Riley. Okay, the first door on the bottom is the color green. We have a green key and the emotion that is green is anxiety? No, the emotion is disgust. Let's see if we got it right. <gasps> yes! One emotion is free. Whew, thank you. It smelled like broccoli in there. Mm, or cheesy feet. Um, I better head back to headquarters and make sure it's not a disaster up there. Perfect. One emotion is free and ew. She smell said it smelled like broccoli and stinky feet in there. Next door we have, and the next key is the color red. Red door, red key, the emotion that is red is, it's anger. I think we can open up this door. Yes! Two emotions are free, and check this out. He is angry. We're dropping all of the mind memories on top of him. Woo! Let's do a few more. Woo-hoo! Seriously, Nat, you're super childish. And Riley's a teenager now. You need to up your attitude. Okay, that is true. Riley is a teenager now. Let's close up the second door. And we're almost done with the bottom row. The blue emotion. Let's find the blue key. Who is it? Let's open it up carefully. Whoa, hold on. There it is. It's sadness. It was so sad in there all by myself, but I'm free now. Let me just find my way back to the mind center, going through all of these memories. Oh, memory lane. It's super fun. Closing up the bottom. We haven't found anxiety yet, and we have three doors left. Now, before we go to the top, Let's see if we can create some memories. This is how we do it. We collect all of the balls and we're gonna drop them. <gasps> we created a memory. Keep dropping them. Whoa, 
So much fun! Are we going to make any more memories? Whoa, look! We made a huge memory. Do you remember the time Nat and Essie made slime that looked like all of our favorite emotions? Ooh, this one is yellow slime that looks just like joy. Let's get some out. It's getting a little sticky. Ooh, but it's so pretty. It was a yellow clear slime and it's scented like oranges. And if you do like making slime, check out Nat and Essie and you can find this video where we make slime five different ways. Great memory, but slime does get old and gets a little sticky over time. So we've done the entire bottom row. Oh, and our hands are now all sticky. We have to go to the top row. We've got yellow, purple, and orange. Whatever we do, don't let anxiety out. Yellow matches joy, and here's the yellow door. So we're opening it, and there's joy. Yes, we have one more emotion to find. Oh, fear or anxiety. Fear is the color orange. So we're going to open up the orange door. <gasps> Stop! Whoa, embarrassment can talk. What's up, embarrassment? Anxiety is orange. Oh my goodness, you're right. Anxiety is orange. You saved us. Ooh, that would have been a close call. Anxiety is orange. We're not opening up yet orange, we're opening up purple to find fear. Yes, we found all of our core emotions. And look, I think you can see anxiety behind the orange door. Until we get headquarters back to normal, we're going to keep anxiety in there. Once we have headquarters back to normal, we can let anxiety out. We did it! We saved the day thanks to all of you! Woohoo! All of our emotions are free now! It's Nat and Essie, plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> the office is starting to look amazing! We've got slime, that was the first craft. We now have perler beads, that was the second craft. I mean, look at how amazing the studio is looking! Who can deny all of our crafts look fantastic and everything looks just like us. One of my favorite newest additions, it's Envy. Oh my goodness, this looks so adorable. But what other crafts can we add to the studio? I've always wanted to have a picture of myself hanging in my room. Oh, oh dreams. What a dream. What are you talking about, sadness? That's a fantastic idea. Adding artwork that we can display around the halls. That way everybody knows this is Riley's Mind Control Center. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nat and Essie. This is Nat and check it out. We have all of these fun coloring books. A little one, a big one with joy with some crayons, and another one over here. Let's add some artwork to this amazing mind control center. What project is your favorite? Slime, beads, or drawing? I'm ready to draw a cute picture. Let's go ahead and start with this magnificent book here. It's got joy on the cover and it comes with some extra crayons. It even has some fun stickers. Oh, this is super cool. We've got anger, sadness, all of our first emotion friends. Now to find an emotion I want to draw. We've got sadness. Oh my gosh, there's so many sadness characters. It's almost like telling us, hey, draw sadness. We've got fear, another sadness, of course. Fear, disgust. <gasps> that is so adorable. I really want to do this one. So I'm going to pull out my colors. 
the colors I've chosen are some of these shades and then some red shades. Of course, I have to match them perfectly to our characters. So I'm going to start off with drawing our Joy in her beautiful yellow color. Whoa! Collapse! And then we can move on to our sadness. Okay, here we go. First we're going to draw Joy and then we're going to draw sadness. I'm going to have to take a look at my figure here. Joy has blue eyes, blue hair, and a light green dress. I think I've got the perfect light green. It's kind of like a lime tinge. So let's go ahead and add that. Oh, it's too similar. Let's see. What if I add just a little bit of dark green into there? We might have to go a little bit darker because I don't have the perfect shade for her dress. And that's okay. We just go and make it any way we want to. So, I'll put the light green, the lime green on the bottom, and then I'll add some of that dark green on top. <laughs> now let's make blue hair. Oh no, this one's too light as well. I want to make a darker blue. This one. Voila! One character down, one to go. Our poor little sadness. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to figure out how she looks like. Dark hair, kind of like a lighter blue and then a super light blue sweater. We'll add her there and we'll go ahead and make sadness. And lastly, I think her pants match her hair. Her hands match her face and also her feet. And what color are her shoes? Kind of a blue tint, so we'll add the blue to her shoes. Our two friends, they look amazing. Joy and sadness are total opposites. One is happy, one is always sad. But together, they make up two of Riley's emotions. Let's see if we can find another emotion to draw. We'll turn through the pages. Ugh, disgust and anger. And who else do we have? Fear, I always love fear. And I think I have the perfect color for fear. Let's see, fear is purple. And I'm going to make fear the color purple. Oh my goodness, this is so funny looking. Okay, that's like the starting point. Dark purple in the mouth. Whoa, fear. Okay, that's looking good. And I want to make dark purple eyebrows, but I don't remember what fear's outfit looks like. So let's pull out our character. It's got blue and like a beige color with super dark colored pants and black shoes. Okay, let's see what we can do. Adding some blue to the arm sleeves and he's got a little rosy colored bow tie. Dark shoes. And, whoa, that's over his face. Kind of like a beige shirt. He looks great! We can add all of our artwork now to our mind control center. We made joy and sadness, and we made fear. Next time, you guys need to let me know what type of art we need to make for our office. There are so many fun characters and you can get super creative, like making anger purple or green. That would be so funny. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Next time, let's get creative again and make some art for the Mind Control Center.
Has anyone seen Riley? Riley, where are you? Riley, we're looking for you. Sadness, have you seen Riley anywhere? Wait a minute. What is this place? White shirts, yellow sweaters, blue sweaters, black pants. We're in Riley's closet. Whoa. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Nat and Essie. Today, we're inside of Riley's closet. And we are going to make this Barbie look exactly like our friend Riley from Inside Out. We have the right eye color, the right hair color, and of course she's sporty so we have the right body to use. Um, but I don't think Riley cares for purple pants, flower shirts, and definitely not high heels. No. Before we work on Riley's outfit, we have to work on how this Barbie looks like. Riley's got some short bangs in the front, so we're going to take our scissors and give this Barbie some Riley bangs in the very front and give them a little tiny snip. Riley also likes to keep her hair tied back. In Riley's closet, we've got some hair ties. I think she'll like the color blue for sure. Bundle all her hair and then we'll tie it together. And I don't think Riley has hair that's this long. So we'll give it just a little snip in the back to make it more the length of Riley's hair. There we go, much shorter, much better. And we can get rid of all this extra hair. So now we've got Riley's shorter hair, bangs in the front, and of course her pretty face. We have to find the perfect outfit for her. We've got two sweater options. This ginormous one, does that match Riley? Or this blue hoodie. We also have this yellow hoodie right here. This one looks like Joy. This one belongs to Sadness. So I think Riley's going to pick this sweater right here. And we'll add this white shirt to put underneath. Oh my goodness, this is starting to look exactly like Riley. We just have to get her hands into this sweater. Put it on super nice. What do you guys think? And we can zip up the bottom. Step one to make the perfect Riley doll. We've got a haircut, we've got a new jacket and shirts, but I don't think Riley really cares for purple pants and high heels. We're going to take off the high heels to start. And in our closet, I found a pair of black pants, which Riley likes to wear. And then we'll go ahead and fix the shirt, pull it nicely over the top. And then the sweater a little bit down as well. Okay, so far, We've got our Riley doll looking so much better. We've got pants, shirt, we've got her perfect sweater, and Riley likes to wear some really long white socks. And in Riley's closet, I happen to have a pair of white socks. So let's go ahead and stick these on her feet. And then the other one on the other foot. Now we have a totally custom Riley doll from the movie Inside Out. Now she can hang out with all of her emotions and I think she looks amazing. We took off these purple pants, cause that doesn't match her, and a flower purple shirt. Next time, should we try and make her look like our friend Sadness or our friend Joy? Let me know and leave a thumbs up. This is perfect. We can also put her hoodie on to cover up her hair. And Riley is looking so good now as herself. Black pants, white socks, and of course, the iconic hoodie. I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, make sure you subscribe. Check out more videos from Nat and Essie. See you later. It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 good, oh, good, oh, good. You're here, you're here. Oh, something really, really bad happened. Hey, anxiety, what happened? So, so the inside out emotions, the, the, the original ones, they turn into dough. Ah! Over here, over here, over here. They turned into dough. They went into abstract thoughts and they couldn't get out. And they turned into dough. Oh, no, what are we gonna do? Oh, don't worry, anxiety. This has happened before. Wait, what? This has happened before? They have turned into dough before? Yep, they always go to abstract thought and they always get caught up over there. But don't worry, I know exactly what to do. Oh, you do? Oh, good, good, because I don't and I'm freaking out over here. I totally understand. But to turn them back into their old selves, we just need our cookie cutters right here and a little magic with the help of our magic microwave. Oh, wow, we have cookie cutters? And a magic microwave? Oh, goody, goody. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get them back to normal. You got it. Okay, let's get our yellow dough. We are going to roll that up. And which emotion do you guys think needs our yellow dough? Well, yellow is the color of joy, so, so I think that's joy. You're right, anxiety. Let's get our joy cookie cutter right here push that in really really well ah. oh i love that silhouette and let's take it out oh no oh no i did not turn out right <laughs> uh. okay we're gonna have to do that again Okay, let's do that again. I think the trick is to not push it too much. That way it's not too difficult to take out. <gasps> Ta-da! Yay, we did it! We made joy! Now let's get our green dough. Now let's roll it up. And we all know who is our green emotion. That is going to be disgust. The outer part, we can push in really, really well. But the inner part, not too much. There. Ooh, <laughs> maybe a little bit more on the face area. And voila! There it is! We made disgust! On to our red dough. So we're gonna roll this up. Hmm, which emotion is color red? Well, red is the color of fire. And someone who has a fire on his head is anger. So red is anger. That's right, anxiety. Red is for anger. This is a pretty big cookie cutter. Push the outer part really well and push the inner part just enough and out. Whoa! There's anger! Looking super angry. Now let's get our purple dough. I know purple is the color of fear. And let's get our fear cookie cutter. We need it to be a little bit longer. Ta-da! Press on and out. And press and press and press and press and press. I think that is it. Let's be careful this time. Yay! Let's take out that part. And we got fear. <laughs> now time for our blue dough. Who? is our blue emotion. Hmm. We already got joy. We already got anger, fear, and disgust. We're just missing one more original emotion. And that is sadness. Sadness, of course, is the color blue. Dun, 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 dun. Push, push, push. Yes, that is perfect. 
Oh, she looks super sad. Maybe because she is a clay right now. Don't worry, sadness. We have our magical microwave. And we are going to get you back looking normal. All right, to the microwave you go. tears of joy. Next up, let's get anger. In the microwave, he goes. Here he is, here he is. Whew. Glad he's out. Ah, that's it. I am never going back to the abstract thinking place, even though that's the fastest way to the train station. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Me too. Although we say that every time. Coming up is disgust. Do -do -do -do. Disgust is coming back to life. Okie dokie dokes, here she is. Oh, if you ask me, the worst part is that my hair looks so flat if I'm a doe. Never, ever, ever want to do that again. I think you still look great, disgust. Anyway, we have fear. Fear to the microwave. Oh, fear, come on out. Ah! Ah! Finally! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a clay forever. Ah! Welcome back, fear. Now let's get our final emotion joy. back to normal. I told you guys. Abstract thinking wasn't too bad after all, huh? Actually, it was pretty bad. Yep, I was smushed. Oh, you can say that again. That was super duper uber scary. We probably should not do that again. Oh, never mind. That's the last time. Thanks, besties, for all your help. You are welcome. Bye.